tradition tell us that when two numbers have the same sign, in other words, they're both positive or they're both negative, we can combine those two values and our answer will have the same sign as the values that we've added together. But when two numbers have a different sign, when the signs are different on the values we're going to add, like this one, positive and negative, this one, positive and negative, we need to find the difference between the values, and then we will find out that the number that is larger, that sign ends up being the number that we, um, that we will use. So that's the rules that follow when we're using the rules of addition for um, adding real numbers. We have a negative number combined with a negative number. So we will, that's the rule of the same sign. So to do this problem, we will add 2.5 and 4.2. Now, if that's not something you can do in your head, you might remember that to add decimals, decimals are real numbers because they can be written, rational numbers and real numbers because they can be written as fractions. You line the decimals up. So our answer ends up being, see the negative out here? Our answer ends up being negative 6.7. Let's look at another example. In this case, when we look at these two numbers, we note that the first number is positive, and it's positive 10.5, and the second number is negative. Now with these two, the difference, subtract these two numbers. When we're subtracting these two numbers that are the same size, we're going to have to line it down because this is a 4. We borrow the unit from it. it is, and the larger number is negative. Our answer is going to be negative as well, and it's going to be negative 4 point. Here. I'm going to tell you, if you know how to add positive and negative numbers, then you'll be able to subtract. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. All right, so 8 plus 2, okay, two positives. The signs are the same, okay, so you keep the sign. Obviously, that's going to be a positive 10, all right? All of us probably knew that. Now, let's take a look at this, okay? We have a negative 8 plus a negative 2. The signs are the same, so you're going to add these values right here, and you're going to keep the same sign. So this is going to be negative 10. All right, so right here, when you're adding numbers with the same sign, you can tell we're just adding adding the numbers and keeping the sign. So no problem there. Here's where it gets a little interesting, I think, for students. Right here we have, um, we're adding two numbers with different signs. We have a negative 8 plus a 2, all right? So let me ask you, which number here, don't look at the sign, just look at the positive version of the number. Which one is larger, okay, the 8 or the 2, all right? Well, clearly this one would be large. We call that the absolute value, but I don't want I don't want to throw out too many technical terms here, okay? So between the eight and the two, well, we, we said the eight is a larger number. Okay, we think of it as a larger number that's a positive version. And you can, you can tell that here that the eight has the negative sign. So here's what you do. Anytime you have two different signs, okay, you're gonna end up subtracting, all right? So let's actually do that now. Okay, 8 and 2, if I took the difference, I'm going to get 6, right? I right, just kind of forget about that negative sign for a second. But now, the sign that is associated with the answer is going to have, or is going to be associated with that largest number, i.e. the 8. Okay, so this is going to be a negative 6. All right, does that make sense? Let's, let's try another one here. So we have 8 plus a negative 2. Okay, the signs are different. So when the signs are different, you're going to end up subtracting. Okay, so subtractions of these numbers, okay, 8 and 2. So if I just told you to subtract them or find the difference, you would say, okay, that's 6. Now, out of the 8 and 2, which one has the larger sign? Okay, or which one is the larger number? The 8 is a larger number, and this 8 right here is a positive 8, so my answer is going to be a positive 6. A negative times a negative equals a positive. Positive times a positive equals a positive. A negative times a negative equals a positive. A positive times a positive 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 equals
So here, anytime you're multiplying two numbers where the signs, the signs are the same, okay, in other words, a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative, okay, the answer is always positive. Okay, so two times, positive two times, positive eight, positive 16, okay? So once again, negative two times negative eight, the signs are the same, i.e. both negative, positive answer, positive 16. Now, and multiplication, when you're multiplying two numbers and where one of the where the signs are opposite, i.e. one's positive, one's negative, here I have a positive times a negative, it doesn't make a difference, it could be a negative times a positive, the product, the answer is going to be negative. Okay? So that's multiplication right there. Right, these are the multiplication rules. 